Yo guys, I'm back and this week we'll be going over my favorite thing in the game, boost. But here's the thing, you guys treat boost like you treat bowls of ice cream. You have all of it at the start and then you sit down and consume it all and wonder where it went. Except in Rocket League, you get to replenish your ice cream with these pads. 12 ice creams from this pad and 100 ice creams from this one. So how can we have more boosts while playing our ranked games? We need to avoid situations like this in ranked. This is the ultimate question we will answer, and I would say mastering this is the most important thing in the game. Regardless of your ability to hit six shots in free play, or even if you're a freestyler, you can't do much without boost. Real quick before we jump in, last week's video, we covered a daily warm up that you might want to try out, but I dropped a massive announcement in that video too. You guys are already getting hyped for the opportunity and I'm reminding you that for my 1000 subscriber special, I am going to randomly draw one lucky guy who I will coach all the way to grand champion. Once I put my mind to something, I don't give up and the challenge of coaching someone all the way to grand champ, regardless of where you stand now, sounds extremely fun and engaging to me. So trust this will be something you really want to have a chance to win. My guy William is already increasing his chances of winning by using the reverse psychology in the comments. All right, all right, let's begin. To make this a little easier to grasp, I'm going to break this down into three parts. Boost Paths, Rule 36, and the Secret Sauce. So, moving up field, we see our teammate has done the impossible. The ball is centering. In our haste and eagerness to strike, we pulse our engines and ignite the pathway to our glorious shot attempt. Everything seems perfect. Too perfect. I hate this game. This game could go suck a bit. We've all been here. On the way back, this player takes a route that is not really that ideal and ends up taking a lot of time on his rotation back. This is where you'll see the biggest differences between Grand Champ and other ranks. Okay, Seabell, you're just gonna call this man's out and put him on blast in your video? Yep. If you would like to be put on blast in future videos, I've just created a Discord server. Join in and feel free to ask me questions, hang out with the community, and I'll be needing all of you for an upcoming video in the near future. Okay, back to the boost paths. There are two that I always use and you should too. The easiest first, straight down the middle. This isn't too difficult to practice, but it doesn't hurt to do so. Make sure you're supersonic throughout this and spend some boost if you're already above 75, as you're about to collect 72 from the small pads. You should not take off ball cam and assume you need to go down this whole stretch back to your goal. Especially in twos, this mistake can create some problems. So I developed two iterations. The first one is the hook path. But are they strong? Hook, yeah. This path is excellent in twos, but can be used in threes as well. It'll look like this in free play. Use this only when it's very obvious that your teammate is about to win possession on your way back to goal. This is why it's extremely important to keep ball cam on. This is what the hook path will look like in game. The second iteration is called the back post path. This is probably the most beneficial path in here as it is super fast and gets you to a prime position on defense. You'll do this path when the ball is on its way to the corner and you need to space yourself from the play and your teammates. You'll collect at least 50 boosts on the way back and the trick that helps me hit this pad is once you collect this pad here, make a beeline to the large one in the corner but pretend that the pad is left of where it normally is. You'll be moving this direction and once you secure the pad, you can easily move towards the back post. This is what this path might look like in game. Now, let's talk about a path that is really simple, but surprisingly underused. The best part about this path is that it can be used both on offense and defense. We will call it the swing path, and it's truly amazing. If you're only gonna choose one path in this video, you need to incorporate this one into your game immediately. For example, from the back post, where we just were from the back post path, when switching to offense, you can use the swing path to secure 48 more boosts and move up field very quickly. Additionally, you can do this on your way back from the other side if you find yourself too far away from the hook path or back post path. Here's what the swing path looks like in game. Now you know three boost paths that you can whip out in your games. But before you do that, go into free play, turn the unlimited boost off, and start messing around with these paths. To make it more challenging, turn on ball cam and see if you can hit all the pads. I would suggest doing this for the back post path as this one is probably going to be the most used out of all of them and it gets you in perfect position on defense. 
And I have one very important note. Do not focus on boost pathing in the game. You're gonna strictly practice this and try to engrave it into your muscle memory so you can do it without thinking about it too much when in ranked. All right, on to the second part of three for this guide. This part is labeled Rule 36. Guys, please do not confuse this with Rule 34. <clears throat> this rule is something I use every single game and without it, I would be doomed. What this rule is all about is these three small pads in front of goal. They add up to 36 and if you ever find yourself waiting around in goal with no danger of the ball coming right that second, you need to grab these pads. It's a really simple path and you'll do it as quickly as you can. 36 boosts on defense is the magic number. If you're on defense and you see 36 boosts and you're pressed for time, know that you can pretty much make any save with proper positioning. So, if you find yourself with low boost and you don't know what to do, or your team is being pressured pretty hard, grab these pads and get yourself a nice little clear. On to part three. The secret sauce has to do with something I do in game that allows me to play at a high level and very high speed. When I realized what this secret was, I started to play a lot more consistently and with more boost. It was the puzzle piece to finally feeling like I can compete with grand champions. This clip that I reverse is actually that sauce. It is how I maintain speed, momentum, and boost throughout the game. You'll see this happening everywhere in Grand Champ, and you actually have seen it multiple times in this video. It's utilizing your side flip to get more boost. It's that simple. Not only are you starting to build momentum from side flipping, you're also collecting boost pads on the way. This is the number one thing that makes you play super fast if you can do this efficiently. One thing that you'll notice that us lowly grand champions do is autocorrect by using boost. It is much better to expend boost while flipping with the intention of collecting the small pads. If this is your first side flip, you can get supersonic by using boost while side flipping. This stuff might be a little advanced for you, but whether you have the car control or not, you should be trying to do this in your practice. But wait, the danger of this tactic is if you're flipping, you are unable to change directions that easily. So you need to watch for when to do this. Personally, I side flip whenever the ball is floating in the air and not going to be hit or change directions for the duration of my flip. I will also do this side flip stuff when I know that the ball is going to move a certain direction. This is how you get smothered by faster players. They can read your hits and already be moving at high speeds towards the ball. To summarize the secret sauce, just make sure that you are utilizing your side flips when it makes sense, collect boost pads in the middle of these flips, and make sure not to do this when the ball is about to be hit and the directional prediction of the hit is unsure. Boys, if you enjoyed the video and learned something from it, please share this with your friends that could benefit from this or get some laughs. Remember that there is a big 1000 subscriber special, so hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss that. Thank you guys so much for the support so far, and I hope everyone enjoys their day. Later! I've been waiting all night Watch you blow a mile.